so hello everyone welcome to the second part of uh, how to create a basic retrieval chatbot last time we saw that uh, what tf idf means and what exactly do we mean by cosine similarity now we are going to walk through the code of the last tutorial so uh, starting from uh, and this whole code is going to be uploaded on github so you can download it easily we are going to use uh, the, these uh, scikit-learn library and the scikit-learn library we are going to use cosine similarity and tf idf vectorizer uh, next we are going to use numpy mm, this is basically for the matrix mat uh, matrix uh, calculations now we are going to use pickle what pickle does is it converts uh, uh, it it uh, it gives us a stream of data uh, and we can store our data into this stream so that we can extract it the anytime we want it and uh, as it is a uh, binary data so it's really fast it's faster than json uh, next we are going to use time it time it uh, we are using it for to uh, know that how much time it took for the training of our data next is json and this is random the json file part that we are going to use is uh, 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 present over here another is tfidf vector is a pickle path and tfidf tra uh, matrix train pickle path mm, uh, uh, next uh, okay so what we are going to do is that we are going to have two pickle uh, pickles created one of them is going to store the dimensions of all the um, all the sentences uh, uh, elements and sentences added that we have and uh, tfidf is going to store the weights of those uh, uh, weights of those uh, words store words in our uh, sentences what i mean to say is that uh, uh, the json file part that we have uh, each message and each word is going to convert it into the respective tfidf vector now this tfidf uh, weight and this complete message would be converted into the a uh, vector having weights of different words we are going to store this message in in tfidf matrix tree mm, uh, train and tfidf vectorizer variables tfidf vectorizer would contain the dimensions of these vectors and tfidf matrix train would contain the actual weights uh, now we open these files and we dump our data we open these pickle uh, path files and we have a dump our data into into these files so the next time we don't actually have to train the complete we can just use these files which is this uh, what is try and accept try what it does is if suppose there is an error which occurs then it would pass on to the accept path so try uh, try this code if this uh, shows us an error then go to the accept path and it would give an error if these files uh, do not exist and in case these files do not exist we want to train our data again uh, and we want to train our data and so that we can actually load them and save them up and becomes much more faster to access our uh, model so next we go we find the or, uh, this is our query the test set is uh, this test set sentence is basically the query that we the user is typing the query that user is typing and it's being passed on and in this query okay so this query uh, we again convert this query to tfidf vectorizer and um, it's important so this is going to have the same dimension as that of our uh, um, of our matrix test now we now we what we do uh, the dimension is important because then only we can uh, we would be able to take a dot product and uh, get the cosine similarity now uh, we get the cosine similarity by using tfidf matrix test tfidf matrix train and uh, we get the cosine similarity now uh, this cosine similarity contains lot of words lot of arrays basically uh, because we are getting cosine similarity between each and individual word permutation combination of each and every word so we want to delete the first one because the first one is basically the first permutation and combination uh, of an individual word so we want to delete that uh, and we get the maximum value uh, of these words of the uh, words so this i my name is alma uh, this is the first uh, uh, query that is there is and then there is the document 
which has uh, which has another query is my name uh, is Gordon Ramsay. So we want to take the words that have uh, and all of them are converted into weights and the one which is maximum value which is uh, the one uh, one value is the max value which we would get here. Uh, we want to consider that and uh, um, each word is converted into uh, so one which is maximum cosine value we need to consider that. the max value if it is greater than 0.7 this is an arbitrary we have defined to define our accuracy so what we are going to do is we are going to have a list of uh, uh, list of different responses that uh, are possible and then we are going to choose randomly from them this enables what this uh, random function would enable is that suppose we have the query high and it can have four responses so it needs to choose randomly from four responses so that the next time we type high it could be a, the our bot could kind of give a different answer in case there is no such uh, max found then we just use response index and we will cosine equal to this is basically uh, get the best probable answer now uh, once we have the response index we need to load our json file and get the response associated uh, with that index. Uh, this is an while one, this is basic uh, code which enables us to uh, type in. Uh, the, uh, that's it, that's it for the tutorial guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, the complete code for this could be found on GitHub and I will upload the link on my blog and uh, in, the in the comments and about section below. Thank you and do not forget to comment, subscribe, like and share.